how to make a http rest call in angular we are going to discuss but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about all the programming languages, all the frameworks and all about the algorithms. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So HTTP is a protocol by using which the client and the server can interact and they can exchange data in between them and that's called REST services. So the server will expose the REST service and the client will consume that and they will interact with each other so this is the basic of a http or the rest call or a rest service so how we will use that in angular so we'll see it now in one of my video i explain you how to create a service if you don't know what is a service please go ahead and watch that video i will link it there because today with the help of a service we are going to make a http call and you will get to know with that video why we are using service while making http call it's not mandatory but it's a good practice again we are going to use a profile component today we'll see uh, only a get call and by the way http protocol has some methods like, like get put post patch and delete like get is an as name say if to get something put is to you want to put something right that, that is the, to update something post you are posting something that means that means you are creating something Del, patch patch is a kind of uh, if you want to do some partial update not then full update full update will be used in put and pa patch will be updated in the partial update but now nowadays everywhere we, we are using put so you can skip the patch if you want and delete is to delete a instance so this is the basic of the rest calls so to use http client we need to import that module to our app so if you go to the app module.ts as it already opened we need to import the http client module that's from angular http so it will be from angular common http so what our goal is to make a rest call in the profile component okay so for that as i told you we are going to use the service so what the use of a service is we will make a get method and that get method we can use it from a multiple component so that's the use if you will be more more clear by watching that video so we'll go to the service so here the HTTP clients comes into the picture. So for that, what we will do, we need to inject that HTTP client to our service. And we are going to use the, this HTTP, okay? So it will be this dot HTTP dot get and we'll pass the URL here. So this HTTP dot get will return observable to to us so if you don't know what is observable please go ahead and watch my observable video there are, there will be three part but i will link the part one there please go and watch that one then you will get to know more, more, more about what's happening here so this will return a observable to us and what we are going to do we are subscribing that observable where we are calling this this uh, service so for today's case we are going to call this service from our profile component so for that we need to inject that service service means the http service that we created this one in our profile component so now we can use this http service to assign a value so here we are going to fetch some data from a server so i am going to write some data and that data here i am taking as any but it's not a good practice of for the video point of view i am taking any but you should make a, your own object means a ts file which has some class which you export some class and you need, you need to wrap this data to that object 
and in the HTTP service you will fetch with according to that observable type of observable of that one. So here suppose I have a user class, so it will be like this. But for the video sec, I will put that as a any. But you shouldn't do like that. Make uh, your own classes and use that to type cast your JSON. So in the on in it, we'll go ahead and make a HTTP call. So this is HTTP service that we are injected in the constructor dot. We have if you know this HTTP service is from HTTP service. If you go here and say that we have HTTP get. Okay, so we are going to call this method HTTP get. Here we have to pass the URL, and I will let you know the URL. So after that we can subscribe this one. So what is the subscribe and what how this all these things work? I everything I explained in the observable videos so please if you don't know please go ahead and watch that first then go come here and watch it again okay so this subscribe will return us three data I'll explain there as well So I will explain I will explain little bit here again. So on success, this block will execute, and on error, this block will execute. And if it completed successfully, then this is going to execute after the success. Okay. To expose a REST service, I have created a REST call. So get I have exposed a service through Node.js. And guys, after the Angular series, I am going to create a Node series. So please subscribe to the channel if you want to know all about this. So please subscribe it. I'm using Express and I'm hosting that server in the 3000 port. And on 3000, I is I'm returning a HTML um, file so that it will be fun of heuristic. And on slash data, I'm returning a, the a JSON here. So if you go here like local host 3000 so it will be 3000 so it will be like welcome to fun of heuristic so here i will zoom here you can see so welcome to fun of heuristic so we are going to use till data so here the url should be like so here what i will do i will, I will go ahead and log the value when we'll go to the browser i will see that when you will go to the profile component as it present in the profile child we are developing it in a profile child so this will got printed so you can go ahead and check here so it's the name subrat from bangalore and native place is odisha so we get that how to how we are going to get the data so now here we will see in the profile child component we are going to see this data so i'm printing the name you will get the rest so you may wonder the error came but the name is also also came there so what happened here is this got executed first and here we are we are making a asynchronous call to the server till that server get the response before that we are rendering it here okay and for that it's saying that unable to so for now the sum data is nothing at the beginning okay till which this is the, we haven't got any response from the server so this everything will uh, act as asynchronously so we haven't got that so this error came here so that is the easy fix Either you can do a if ng if here and a lot of things are there or you can do like this. So what it will do if this is present then only it's going to access this one. So here now if you're going to see the error is gone. And one more thing how are you going to handle the error. So like, like here if you go to the server I have only slash 
and the data slash means nothing right the for for localhost 3000 and data is slash data to get the data so here what i will do i will try to do something here i added something so if i will go here you say that we have a get, get a 404 message here okay so this is so this is that 404 not found and this is the error we printed there like line 27 if you go to line 27 they saying that error occur and we are printing those error so the observer throws an error and we're getting that error here so here to handle the error suppose uh, you want to show some fancy page or fancy something to the to a user you can do it here so this is how you can we are, you, you, you are going to handle the error for HTTP call so that's it for today guys today we saw how to make a HTTP call to a server and how to face the data through a get method uh, in the next video we are going to see how to retry to a HTTP call if the server is not responding or the server is down how to make give some interval and how to retry and how many times you can ret retry till you get the data please like the video if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please share the video among your friend we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye